Okay guys, welcome back. Um to some more Dungeon Crawl Stone Soup. So um before we start, um sorry, I sound I sound really tired because right now I'm like super sick for some reason. Well I don't like maybe I'm not sick, but um I sprained my ankle horribly bad today. Like I woke up and it was just so bad. So I've been in like pretty much constant pain for like the last twelve hours, so I'm kinda over it right now. Um and my head's starting to hurt as well. She's not feeling so great right now, so, um, yeah, this video might be a little bit, uh, depressing. Sorry, the, uh, the mic got stuck on my shirt again. Damn it. Okay, how about that? Alright, fine, whatever, close enough. So, um, I'm gonna post a retraction from yesterday. Yesterday I talked about, um, uh, uh stabbing tear damage bonuses and that's actually completely incorrect. Um, everything I said yesterday was just bullshit. Don't worry about me. Um, the reason why it's bullshit is because, first of all, it got updated in July 2016. Um, it's completely different now. And secondly, uh, I would pulled that source like way back when I was not even great a player. And I really haven't looked to update it. So I apologize formally um, for anyone who has been misinformed. Please update to the nearest, um, to this information, which is basically the way stabs work nowadays, is that when you stab someone, um, there's two types of stab bonuses. Uh, the, the confused stabs, which is like blind, confused, whatever, whatever. The distracted one, basically. That is what I mean. The low tier one. And the top tier one is paralyzed, petrified, or like otherwise completely immobilized. So, yeah. So right now, Mephitic Cloud is actually the same as Dazzling Spray in, and Confused in terms of stab damage. Uh, but in Social Hibernation is the highest out of all of that stuff. So I just decided to post that because I'm pretty pissed off about it, the fact that I screwed it up, because um, that's actually like one of the very few, like, that's probably the only factual, this is the first, I believe, uh, factual error, um, like the first real factual error that I've ever put on this channel, and that's really frustrating to me, because, um, like, I set out with this channel to be the, with the intention of being, like, fully, you know, correct, as much as possible. Um, I mean, yes, you could say that, like, you know, it's been, what, 500-something days since I started playing on this channel, and I haven't, this is my first one that's, like, not horrible, but still, it's not a great thing for me, um, so you'll have to understand that I'm not happy about it, specifically. Oh my god, that was a bit of a mistake. Alright, so as I said before, I can use my blink to pretty much never be in melee with a 10-speed enemy again, unless I choose to be in one. I'm gonna blink here. Just to give myself a bit of space. Stab. Nice. So yeah, stabbing tier bonuses are actually completely wrong. Um, Jesus, that was a lot of damage. Yeah, that's about it, really. And with respect to that, that's all I really wanted to say. Um, so, yeah, sorry if you sorry if you got, like, you know, misled. That was not my intention at all. Like, yeah. So I'm going to keep the buckler on. Probably turn the stealth off. Keep the shield on. I would love to have this Dagger of Venom on, on Switch, but I have a feeling that cursing it on is going to just be too much of a pain in the ass, so I'm just not going to bother. Um, I already have this Electrocution Dagger, which is really good. This is a plus four ring of evasion. That's actually really good, but I don't think that I need to keep it cursed right now. Uh, maybe it's better to keep it cursed. I don't really know. I'll probably keep it cursed. You know what? Actually, no. We'll curse, we'll curse on the, the Buckler, just for now. Because that will keep us, get us seriously bound and also increase our shield. We only need to get to four, so it's very cheap, um, for shield to be, you know, trained up. Alright, um, let's train some more decks, just get some extra dodging. I could train strength because I intend to wield, like, troll of their armor, but I think that I don't really need to do that right now. I think that, like I said, stats for a meme, you don't really need to think about them that much, and decks is just, you know, like, on instinct, what you think is better, so I'm just going to do that on instinct, rather than think about, like, oh, what if I get this extra one point of slaying, or whatever. It's really not important at all. So, yeah. So, Vampire in Lair is pretty straightforward. Uh, or, sorry, Enchanter in Lair is pretty straightforward. I think that Vampire at this stage hasn't really got any particular advantage. Um, the, whoops, the... Oh, let's turn translocations off. We don't need that. Well, let's try and stealth instead. Um, yeah, like right now our aptitudes like have already played the majority of their part, getting us this 
like nice set of skills this early in the in the game. Um, so we're pretty much playing as like a human now, like not really any special features other than the blood thing. Uh, but that's not bad. So we're basically playing Enchanter, if that makes sense. All right. So most everything will be killed in one hit. Um, by the time I, if I get an insulsal stab on them, so like you should not underestimate the damage of stabbing. Stabbing is very high damage. Oh, sorry, if I'm pausing, it's because my foot is absolutely killing me, and it's really hard for me to concentrate. It's like just a straight haze of pain, <clears throat> so it's quite difficult to concentrate through. All right, cool. Stab, stab, stab. All right, things are looking okay right now. For this character, bit of lag, just a touch. Most enemies in here are not very high MR, so stabbing is fairly straightforward. Uh, yeah, see, look, look at three insulted stabs. Quite a nice thing. Wait, what did I just do? Did I just? Ah, oh, fuck! I accidentally pressed A B, and that gave us um, astral sight, which is basically map hacks. You can see the. Uh, you can see through walls, pretty much. That's what it does. That's kind of pointless for us. And we accidentally used it and it wasted piety. I mean, not that Ashen Zari piety is particularly powerful, but, you know, most of this stuff is good because of the passives, not because of the active. The Astral Sight's, like, mediocrely good. It's, like, not amazing, but it can be useful at times to uh, tell exactly where things are. Alright, Shield's at 4.6 already, so that's going to be turned off now. Um... Guess we'll just train more spell casting for now. No, we don't even need that. Ugh, there's like really nothing to train, honestly. Like this character doesn't really have any particular need to train anything else. Kind of interesting. I'm waiting for something to give me like a reason to train something anymore. Right now, fighting, dodging, stealth are like really general skills to train. So right there, you saw me kind of like waltz in and out of the pack. What I'm doing here is I'm using my stealth to lure individual um, enemies uh, towards me. I'm just waiting for them to fail, or for me to fail my stealth check against them. So each turn they're in line of sight, they'll have a stealth check, um, and their success, if they succeed, they'll notice me, but the success rate goes down when I have higher stealth, obviously. And also, I think, I'm not sure if it's based on their awareness in general, <laughs> but I know that stealth makes me more stealthy. It's pretty straightforward, right? Um, hope that's not mechanical. Uh, a misunderstanding of the mechanics again. Oh god. Okay, so the Hydra is definitely an enemy we just don't want to be in melee with at all. If we can get a nice uh, insulsal. Okay, he fucking woke up instantly. God damn it. Alright, we confused him now. This should be a little bit better for us. Alright. I wouldn't. I don't really want to screw with the Hydra even in melee, so I would prefer very much if he was to die in. Um, you know, while unsorcelled rather than confused, because in confused he can still kind of attack me. Alright, so at four pips of piety, Ashenzari grants you clarity, and I believe he also gives you see and visit some point as well, which is not useful for this character, obviously. But hey, it's fine. The clarity is very rare now. Um, there used to be amulets of clarity, they don't have them anymore, so it's quite nice to be able to get that. What's this? Book of Maledictions. Isn't that the. Oh yeah, that's the starting spell book for us. Okay. I was gonna say, like, did we pick up another book? Alright, Wanna Polymorph. Not useful. I'm gonna pick up another Wand of Ice Blast. Scroll of Recharging will go on the Dig Wand, because the Dig Wand is the best wand. Can I ID? Probably the Dig Wand, I guess. Okay. Reading the scrolls here in the hopes that I get, like, oh god. This is an annoying enemy. It's resistant to electricity. Uh, ice blast probably has to be the only way to deal with it. We really don't have a way to kill enemies that are like resistant to our charms. Or, sorry, our hexes. I mean, to be honest, they're completely the same thing at this point. Charms is such a non existence cool at this stage. Like, it doesn't even count. Alright, pull up individuals, stab them. Gonna stay thirsty for a bit, um, because thirst. Being first to give you our poise. Like I said, it's a dumb as hell mechanic because you have to constantly manually affect your own spell hunger, uh, your own like hunger level or satiation level. It's a really 
I don't know. I find it's a very clumsy way of doing things. Alright, these guys are just idiots, apparently. Okay. Get the insulsal down. Stabby stab. Pull away. Can I eat this? No, I can't actually. Interesting. So you can't actually eat bugs and spiders. Um, I thought that you couldn't butcher them, but apparently you can't eat them either. I guess it's because they don't really have blood. Book of Cantrips. That gives us access to Animate Skeleton and Apportation. But Animate Skeleton is really not a great spell for this guy. It's very annoying in that respect. Uh, let's get Apportation. Yeah, actually, you know what? Uh, the Animate Skeleton is pointless. The reason why Animate Skeleton is pointless is because... Um, it doesn't do anything for a guy who wants like I don't the reason why animate skeleton is like normally good is because it doesn't affect your hunger level at all because you can just animate the skeleton and get the corpses chunked um but here like oh my god I'm actually gonna just switch it to Q but here we actually when you drain a skeleton you actually leave a corpse so oh actually maybe you do so more more accurately, when you when you drain when you animate a skeleton uh, a corpse like so, you actually get chunks, not um not blood, which is really stupid. I think that it should be changed, honestly. Um, silent scroll. Okay, I thought that was torment. Torment's pretty good for a can be good. Sorry for a uh, vampire. I think in the ghoul chaos night I mentioned that ghouls don't get tormented. This is not the same. Um, ghouls, sorry, vampires can get tormented here, yeah, but um, they have to be, if they're bloodless, they won't get tormented. Alright, so this here, robe is better than our robe. It's plus one, also has regen and deck. So I'm going to go ahead and remove curse this robe and switch back to this thing. Um, and I'm going to curse on this. Uh, no, I'm not going to waste the, I'm actually not going to waste the uh, curse stuff right now. Like I'm not going to remove, uh, we only have one curse, remove curse scroll, which uh, is consumed every time we want to curse something on or take it off, basically. Thanks to Ash and Zari's curse item ability. Excuse me. So, um, yeah, I'm going to save it in case I need to get rid of something. Like, I, I don't like the way that cursing is done, or remove cursing is done. I think the mechanic's kind of clunky nowadays, given that... Um, you know, just how, like, generally, uh, oh, what the hell is that? Int plus four, dex plus two, and it's plus two. Damn, that's a nice, it's a damn good, um, damn good pair of gloves. Because it's plus two, and it also gives us a couple of stats. I mean, I probably should not say that, because it only gives stats. But it's fine, it's a good, it's a good armor, it's just not, like, amazing. I think that's like the differentiation that a new player has to make a lot of the time. Like, holy crap, the number of times that you hear, you see someone with their mold file and it's just like, oh my god, my, my armor has like plus eight fucking strength to it. It's like ring mail, plus eight strength, oh my god, amazing. Or plus seven decks, oh, it's so good. It's really not, guys, just please. Alright, so we're going to just try to confuse this guy, and if we get a confuse, we kill him. If we don't get a confuse, we don't kill him. That's pretty much how the enchanter works against ghosts. Like, I don't really have an answer to that. That's fine though. We got him. I can enchant this dagger of electrocution, by the way. It's a pretty good weapon. And it's the weapon I'm using, like, consistently because it's cursed on. So, I don't really have a choice, honestly. Stab. Alright, my headache is starting to blind me a little bit. Like, I can't exactly, like, think straight anymore. So if I start rambling, like, you know why. Or maybe it's just because that's how I talk. Ah, uh, that hurts so bad. Oh, man. This pain is, like, quite bad. I had to walk all the way to uni today from the station and shit. So that was, uh, that was not fun. That was a 25-minute walk of just pure agony. Like, it got to the point where, like, I wasn't even, like, focusing on the road. I was just focusing on, like, comprehending the pain. It was so bad. It was legitimately the worst thing I've had in a while. So death yaks are much more resistant than their yak counterparts, um, which means that stuff like 
Confuse isn't really going to work on them. But if you can blind them, you can get a free stab. The only problem is they do so much damage that uh, you're generally going to get killed if you face more than one at a time. So I'm going to try very hard to... Oh, stab, stab, stab. Ah, uh, damn it. No stab. I'm going to try very hard to like pull one up at a time rather than try to fight them all at once. Oh, six-headed Hydra. Oh, another six-headed... Oh, he found me. Oh, nice random energy, dude. I saw that. Alright, we got caught in between us and the Death Yak. Gonna blink here, blink again, blink again. And then we get a Confuser. Nice. Not bad. Alright, good. So as you can see there, I avoided melee. Despite being melee, I avoided melee. Um, it's the enemy. That's pretty good. Just go ahead and kill Nessus there by stabbing him. That's a nice feeling. Um, so these em these elephants are a little bit Emma, not really though. So you can if you can like get the good, a good uh, insult of them, you just stab them in one shot. So if you if you see like how much damage you're doing, uh, stabbing is not to be underestimated. It has very high damage, but it requires the thing is the condition for getting um, a stab is pretty hard to uh, accomplish at times. Oops, god damn it. So I just need to use uh, Dazzling Spray to kill these yaks. The reason why you can use Dazzling Spray is because I'm pretty sure that it's like checked by MR um, or Hit Dice or something rather than... Um, no, no, sorry. It's not checked by Hit Dice. Uh, uh, how do I explain this? It's it's basically not affected. It's not affected by magic resistance. It's... I don't remember how it, exactly how it works, but basically if it hits, it's going to have a chance to blind regardless of whether you have magic resistance or not. It's... I think the condition is more like wh whether you have eyes, if that makes more sense. Like, I don't know. It's kind of odd in that way. It doesn't function like every other hex in the game. Because it has like this weird component where it's like not really resistible by, ma by magic. Or maybe I'm just like completely unsure about that one. That's definitely the problem. I'm still feeling the after effects of yesterday. I don't want to say things that are definite, even though I should. I don't know why I'm... Losing the confidence, boys. There we go. And he fucking immediately gets out of it. God damn it. Alright, we got the stab off. It's fine. Alright, so this looks like the Shaman Hydra and Catoblopus Vault. The, sh the Deep Troll one. That means there's going to be a lot of enemies over here. Including a Death Yak pack. That really sucks. Alright, this Catoblopus is... Fuck, I'm gonna read a teleport here. That almost was horrible. Why was there a Hydra here? That really sucks for us. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and stab some dudes. Three scrolls, huh? Oh, it's immolation. Nope. Huh. That thing got immolated, I didn't even realize. Damn, I was hoping that would be a... Uh... I was really hoping that would be... What you call it? Requirement. That'd be nice. On this character, I kind of do want to have, uh, I either want to have like a decent armor or like a quick blade or something. Quick blades are really good for brawling stuff. Quick blades for electrocution, I mean. Um, brawling as in like just straight scrapping it out with people rather than doing the gentleman's thing of stabbing. Um, yeah, so. Go figure. I'm not going to get one though. It's pretty rare to get one. Especially one that's serviceable, that is, my character to say. So I had to throw a bunch of Dazzling Sprays on that guy, but once I got one, I could just stab him real quick. As you can see, the damage, again, very powerful damage. If I can just get him, come on, stop running away, you asshole. Oh my god, he's still running, where is he going? He, noticed me, he notices me as I get into melee with him. What an actual ass. Like, <laughs> Jesus, what a prick. What a prick. Alright, we got him. Jeez, that took a while. Alright, we're fine though. Our defense isn't great, but damn, we're good at offense. Let's pull away from this guy. Once we get into like the outside area, he's a lot less dangerous. Oh, God. Come on, man. Get over here. He's shooting me. Stop. I'm gonna try to hit him with that dust. 
There we go. Good stab. It's the Dazzling Spray again. Very effective against Death Yaks and other hilariously strong enemies. Uh, Alright, there's the Deep Troll Shaman. I guess there wasn't a... Oh, there's the Hydra. Hey. He's just... He didn't even notice me. I walked out. Alright. I'm going to use my Blink here to... Wow, 37%. 37% guys. 37%. My god. Scroll of Fog. Damn. Still no enchant- uh, still no climate. A lot of enchant armor though, I was gonna say. 7 is a very high amount this early in the game. Alright. Cool confuse. Kill. Easy peasy. So what branches did we get today? We got ourselves Swamp and Spider. So, Swamp is not horrible for this character, but Spider can be really bad for a stabber. It's actually not too bad. The problem here that I have is that, um, are you kidding me? Why is it not being confused? 45% though. What? 45% though, man. I was at full mana before I fucking did that. God damn it, dude. Ah, anyway. Um, yeah, Spider and Swamp tend to be really annoying because unlike most characters that just they can eat permafood, you'll start running out of blood when you play. Because none of those assholes give you blood. So it gets really annoying because sometimes you just can't get any regen back. Um, so you have to like go and scum lair or some dumb shit like that to try to like make up for it and get some blood back. It's a really shit system, honestly. Uh, this is uh, some unfortunate business going on right now. Okay, whoops, we got screwed here a little bit. Alright. These enemies have such crap MR that it's basically like one shot, one kill. Um, or one hex, one stab. That makes more sense. I can also just ball them straight up uh, because they're not very strong. But I was a bit scared of the berserk one. The, the bees are not that fun when they're berserks. God, look at that. Uh, look at this food I can I cannot eat. Fuck. I want some food, man. Like, this way of, like, creating a species is really annoying. I will say that I don't like vampires. I mean, I don't mind them, but, like, I still think that their their design is pretty bad. Like, it doesn't... It goes to show that, like, I don't, I don't really discriminate between, like, oh, the new shit that's made is bad and the old shit that's made is bad. I, I always... I take it one at a time, you know what I mean? I don't really, like... I don't treat it like, oh, you know, like, oh, it's because the new devs, they fucked everything up. It used to be so good. No, it's not what I do. I, I judge things based on how fucking annoying they are to play, or how frustrating the mechanic is. Like, I try to focus on things like actual, you know, how the game should be. So, like, you can't really accuse me of being a straight dev hater, because it's not, it's not really the truth, is it? Regen is pretty good, but looks like I already cursed on my... Um, reflection, so might as well just keep it on. Oh god, there we go. Oh man, some stuff. Okay, let's pull back. See, now invisibility here in the old enchanter book, that is. Um, invisibility was really strong because it gave the enchanter a way to attack crowds. If nothing, if nothing was like. Oh god, that hurt. Oh my fucking god, no stop. No, Jesus, I need to heal them too. Gonna confuse this asshole and run away. That was a bit scary. The stupid orc got in my way. Anyway, yeah. Like, invisibility used to give enchanters a way to really happily handle, um, like, crowds of enemies, which is really good. Nowadays, enchanter does not have that strategy, and it's a little bit more annoying than before. Like I said, though, invisibility is probably pretty broken. Um, when it comes to, you know, the Enchanted Book. It's like it's like the old um, Reaver, a uh, very old, like, build. It started off with, sorry, a very old, like, background. It started off with Haste in the starting book, um, which, if you think about it, was pretty insane. Like, it was like a melee start that had Haste in its starting book, and if you had Haste, you basically won the game, right? Like, Haste is a really fucking good spell. Oh, God. Wow, we just lost... Like 40 HP in one shot, Jesus. 
might have to switch over to that uh, fire ring for a little while. Okay, are these guys not immune? Okay, okay. I was gonna say, are they immune to poison? Uh, fire. Sorry, they aren't. Okay, got the dragon stab. That's nice. Fire dragon is honestly probably a little bit too heavy for this character, who is uh, more of like a mage than anything. Okay. So I'll probably like end with maybe like Swamp Dragon, most likely. Okay. Can we disarm this guy? Yes, we can. Nice. Makes him a lot less dangerous. Right, apparently, Insulsal just doesn't work on that guy, so I'll try to confuse him next time. Confusion is a little bit stronger in terms of like how likely it is to succeed. There we go. Nice. Like, I'm not really looking at the percentage fail rates. I kind of know them, like, roughly where they'll be. Alright, cool. Oh, I'm so sleepy, man. Um, I actually have to, like, do a ton of stuff. I hate it so much. Like, I got one day off. I actually had a night off yesterday. I didn't do any work yesterday. And it just, like, it felt so shit. Because I was just like, oh, great. Rather than it being like, oh, you know, I've... Oh, this sucks. And I can just go upstairs, nice. Rather than it being like, oh, you know, uh, you, you're going to have fun tonight. More like, oh, fuck, I'm just putting off a whole bunch of work that I have to do tomorrow. It's like, god damn, it's not even fun anymore. Though I will say that, like, it was probably a well-deserved break. I mean, I managed to get to Platinum um, in League. Plat 5. Like, I'm normally around plat level um, for League of Legends, but yeah, uh, it took a little while for me to get there this time around, because every season they reset you. So every year they reset you, and they put you back like a little lower than you were before, So, oh, wh where you were at the end of the season, so I was pushed back down to gold. Um, yeah, so I had to climb my ass back up to plat, and it took a long time. I'll probably be going for the next tier up as well, Diamond, um, this year, just because like I think it's good to have a goal rather than because like there's any re real reward attached to it I think it's just you know like recognition that I'm putting in my hard out hard yards might as well get some reward out of it rather than being a shit of stuck in like plat league you know how it is you gotta like avoid you know I don't know like I, I think that league is a really fun game to to play um, to improve in it just kind of brings you back every time because you want to enjoy it. Like, admittedly, it is a little bit toxic at times. And, like, there are a lot of fucking really stupid and slash or entitled people that play. Like, alright, here I don't know what that enemy is. I'm going to go ahead and check out what that is. That is Rain 357, a transmuter roof. Okay, so this over here is the hand axe of distortion. Okay. So as you can see there, I was able to uh uh God damn it, okay fine. So there I was able to use my uh astral vision I guess to uh to figure out what was on the other side of that wall so I didn't just like randomly walk into it. Um there's another oh there he is. The color of his like screen uh, his face off screen is determinant based on uh how dangerous he is so like those that red face implies that he's like super dangerous which is pretty obvious because he's a player ghost player ghosts tend to be very dangerous i'm pretty much just like scumming this guy um for the 12 percent chance that i actually hit it's not working as you can see i've probably spent like four to five mana pulls worth on him he's pretty garbage because he's just not sure what he's doing other than mephiticking me. It's kind of funny. But we're just gonna like keep doing this in the hopes that we eventually hit him at some point. That's a windworm. Jesus Christ. What? Are we triggering the out of depth primary? God damn it. Fucking hell man. Like twelve percent failed, but we've already cast it like thirty, forty times. Jesus. There we go, we got him. Uh let's get some more decks. Why not? It's an anaconda there. Go ahead and confuse and, and source them, I guess. This is the distortion weapon, so I'm going to use Tukima's Dance again. Just pull the distortion off him. 
so you can't do anything to us. Very nice. You know, interestingly, I hadn't really thought about using Dukemas to get rid of distortion weapons off enemies until someone pointed out that they hadn't thought about it either. I kind of just do it by instinct. I don't really like... Like I said, I don't really think when I play, honestly. Wait, what? Is this a different ghost? Oh. Whoa. whoa. You know, like, X-Files? Do 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 do. Like, what the fuck? This is the same ghost. What? Didn't we kill your ass? We did kill your ass. What the hell? There's two of the same ghosts. Is this bug? Or did you just really die with the exact same fucking character? Alright, there we go. Hey. Didn't take 15 fucking... 15 billion costs. I was gonna say 15, but it actually took way more than 15, because I used like 3 to 4 monopoles on that single enemy. Ah, goodness gracious. Stab. Pull back. These guys are a little faster than me, so I gotta be ready to like zip back at the speed of light. As you can see here, employing the uh, walk back strategy to kind of avoid taking all these hits. Okay, melee. 55% eh? Hey? Oh, robo cold resistance. That's why you weren't susceptible. Let me just confuse these pricks. Alright. Stab. 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 All right, pull away. Stab again. Those bees should have like dispersed by now, I think. Oh, whoops, we accidentally moved out. My bad. But they're just bees, so it's like not horrible anyway. Uh, this is possibly not good. I'm gonna use dazzling spray here because it has a good chance of just hitting multiple enemies with a both damage and debuff. There we go. Nice blind. That was pretty good. Wait, was that a shapeshifter? Really? It wasn't a real bee, queen bee. It was just a regular shapeshifter. That's interesting. I wonder if that's war. I'm going to go ahead and stab this guy real quick. Uh, I'm going to take this dire flail off this uh, warrior because I don't trust him with it. I don't believe he can handle it. He doesn't have the guts to handle that. Pull around the corner to avoid the smiter and stab him when he turns the corner. Smart strategy. Uh. Alright, my head's starting to like pound a little bit harder than it was before. Uh. Whew. I've been doing a pretty good job of like masking it though. Like. I don't know. I'm trying not to make a big deal out of it, but it's been like my whole day, so you'll have to understand. Right, I'm gonna teleport here. God damn it. Another one! Whoa. What the fuck? Alright, this is this is just like a shitty Wait, is that four pips of MR? There we go. Nice confuse. Get out of here, Minotaur Berserker. Three ghosts on the same floor, damn. It's pretty it's pretty bad luck. Alright, just gonna try to pull these guys away from me. Or away from the exit. Uh sorry, from that little like trench that they set themselves in. Confuse these guys, so I can just stab them at will. Nice. Pull away a little bit. Alright, so there's going to be a Rakshasa around here. That's a little bit scary, but if we can, like, just kind of, like, accidentally sort of, like, stab the Rakshasa, that'd be nice. Hello, Rakshasa, come over here. I don't want him duping stuff. I'd rather fight, uh, face him alone. 1% fail rate, Jesus Christ. Alright, we can actually blind a Rakshasa, so that's pretty good. Oh, and when he's copied, he's also blinded, if you blinded the original. Nice. How convenient for us. I'm gonna go ahead and take this guy's weapons away from him. So he's not a threat to us anymore. Isn't that nice? We can do that. Tukima's Dance is a really nice spell, I do like it. It used to be a much worse spell. It used to take your own weapon out, it was really dumb. That uh, In that regard. So I'm very glad that it's better now. It used to be so stupid. Like, why would you ever want your own weapon to be gone? Like, that makes no sense at all. Like, full melees would never want that. Because you're you're going to be swinging that weapon way better than a regular guy would be swinging that weapon, right? Oh, this is... See, this is the great... Like, this is a great time to be using Tukimas. If I can just, like, steal these guys' weapons, I can reset the fight, and then they just basically have nothing against me. 
and while I'm at it, like they're just kind of like cutting apart a couple of them at a time as well, which makes me my job a little bit easier as well. All right, we just walked straight past past that wraith. He didn't even notice we existed. <laughs> Feels good, man. All right, let's leave those skeletons to future demise. He's an asshole, so we don't like him anyway. Um, we'll just let him. We'll just let uh him take care of it when he's stronger and doesn't give a crap about skeleton warriors. But right now, there are too many uh, enemies to count. It's 35 minutes in. I'm gonna have to end the video here because again, head's pounding. Um, and my foot's really hurting. It's like my ankle, but like I don't know. It feels the best way to describe it is like I feel like my foot's been snapped. Like if that makes sense. Like front end snapped, horizontally snapped, not not vertically, I guess. Like it, it fucking hurts so bad. Like I'm not even doing anything with it either. It's just resting on the floor. Like it's not like I'm like in a position of stress or anything. It's just it just hurts, man. All right, I'm gonna leave it now. Um, thank you guys for watching. I hope that uh, my redact, uh, my redacted um, or withdrawn statement, sorry, will be enough to you know hopefully not misinform people. But um, yeah, like. I really hope that that thing doesn't become a misinterpreted fact because of me. That really does suck. And I was actually thinking of removing the entire video, but I don't know. I'm hoping that the impact is minimal without me having to do that because, you know, obviously this series will be completely destroyed if I remove part one, right? So yeah, I've tried to, I've tried to make like the, the like, the compromised situation where I, I let it stay, but I also like, you know, point out that it's wrong so that it doesn't affect people too badly. Hopefully the people who are listening or well, the people who have watched that video actually are like aware that it's wrong. So that'd be nice. Alright anyway, I'm gonna leave it here. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you all tomorrow.